Space. If not for the stars, it would be just dark. But those big balls of gas keep on burning, lighting the way for life. Billions of stars over billions of years, burning so hotly they either go out in a blazing supernova or fizzle into a dwarf before they burn out. Personally, I burn out every 1,000 hours or so. Such is the price of being a mortal man. But I'm not sure being a star would be all that hot of a life, constantly spewing your guts out. It's basically a multi-billion year sit on the cosmic toilet during a never-ending meal of Mexican fusion. <laughs> not for this guy. Instead, I'm back to the old grind. And no, 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 no. I've had enough collecting trinkets and rocks for upgrades. It's time for Spatula to get back to the basics, to figure out the mysteries of space that no other commander dares investigate. Like who farted in the airlock in the Gnosis? Or what the heck happened to the plot? No, those aren't even big enough for my ego. My mind can think of only one destination, Raxla. I tried talking to the governments, I tried talking to the cults. Now it's time to... wait, what the heck's going on? Oh, speak of the devil and the devil hears, eh? Alright, well maybe these Thargoids will know where I can get some clues. Hey, Green Boys, hope you got lips under that carapace, because I've got some questions for you. And if you don't start talking, my ex-weapons here are dying to have a chat. It, it, don't do the disably thing, damn it! Stupid Thargoids. No wonder no one else is trying to talk with these buggy bastards. It's all shoot, shoot, shoot these days in the Pleiades. Whatever happened asking questions? Spatula, please pay attention. We we'll have a message for you. If you seek the truth, you must resume your journey in the fight. So you do speak? Though what the hell kind of accent is that? What do you mean, I must begin my journey in Delphi? Is that the clue to where Raxla is? No, that is what we can say for no. Good luck. Okay. And with that, I had my first clue. The Delphi system had been one that I had long suspected of a connection to Raxla. The last time developers tampered with the galaxy, the Delphi system was renamed what it is today. Coincidentally, in the Codex under Raxla, there's a reference to the Omphalos Rift. Now, this is actually what the ancient Greeks on Earth used back in the day for VR gaming. What does that have to do with Raxla? There was only one way to find out. I decided to stow my diamond back and slip into something more comfortable. Ah, yes. The sleek and sexy... I mean, well, not sexy. It's the sleek dolphin. A fast and hard little ship, if you spec it right. My dolphin had seen its fair share of passenger missions back in the day, but it had been parked here in the Pleiades for months gathering rust. Well, it didn't take me that long to retrofit that space aquatic pleasure craft into a mystery-solving machine, complete with all kinds of scientific weapons. As the Thargoid told me, I should begin my journey in Delphi. In my dolphin. Wait, maybe that's it. In order to find Raxal, you have to be in a dolphin at Delphi when the moon hits your eye. No, wait, that's too obvious. But now I'm thinking about pizza. It took so long for humanity to figure out how to cook a pizza in space. Turns out that gravity is very important in the pizza process. Too much gravity and the crust will not rise. Too little and the toppings fly off and pizza grease gets into the control panels. Now, Panzerottis are typically safer being a self-contained pizza envelope. But who wants space to be safe? I like my space dangus, thank you very much. And I will use this wood-fired oven inside of my dolphin whenever the heck I please. That's right. It tastes so much better with the uh, sensation of burning, the release of carbon energy. It really can't replace it. Oh, no. I've angered the pizza gods. Oh, no, wait. It's just Thargoids again. Damn it! Thargoids? Okay. All right. All right. All right. What do you want this time? Sorry. I forgot to unlock things. Do you have any meta alloys? Sorry, do I have any meta alloys? No. No? Well, I guess the kids go hungry tonight. Hey, you don't need to disable my ship! Damn it! Thargoids! Ugh. Damn it. Stupid Thargoids. <sighs> I don't know what it is. Do weird things happen to me because I go out looking for mysteries? Do the mysteries find me? Either way, it was worth checking the Delphi system out. I had only been there once before, back when the Oracle had been the first human station to be attacked by Thargoids. Many a nights were spent here with my Delphin, rescuing a bunch of refugees from the burning stations. Impatient jerks, mostly. But these days, despite all the Thargoid activity, Delphi was booming. I decided to check out the scientific installation named Count. I wondered, what could they be counting? Well, I don't know, but what I didn't count on 
problems that I hadn't got quite used to not having super cruise assist that was in my Diamondback, and not in my Dolphin, I found myself entering into a loop of shame. Thankfully, some back alley physics lessons in my formative years allowed me to plot a smooth gravity break. An old smuggler taught me that trick to avoid interdictions. Of course, we'd never have these problems if they would just give us the same autopilot systems the NPCs get, but I guess that's what being elite is all about. Having to travel long distances and then embarrass yourself while docking. Anyway, I arrived at the count and began my investigation. If only I was able to get out of this chair and see what's inside the facility. Maybe next year. For now I'd have to suffice to gaze through the windows from outside and hope I brought the right limpets to hack some data nodes. What secrets go on inside this puzzling megastructure? Ow! Ow! Oops. And we're back. Where was I? Oh yes, that's about when the pirates showed up. I saw an opportunity to possibly gain the installation's trust by fending off the attackers and signed up for the defense. Of course, the Dolphin, while an amazing small passenger and exploration ship, is not really the best choice for combat. With only two small hardpoints, the damage output is, well, equivalent to the kind of damage Flipper would do against a meat grinder. The best I could do is distract my enemies by shooting at them, only somewhere in the chaos I must have accidentally sprayed my fracas too wide and shot the wrong guy. As a temporary ceasefire must have been issued so everyone could focus on shooting me! Surrounded by hostiles on both sides, I chose to use my dolphin speed and dive into the belly of the beast. In open space, I was a goner, but if I could put the station between me and the melee, I might survive. An escape tunnel caught my eye and I sped towards it with all of my mega jewels. Of course, as my luck would have it, this tunnel had a rather abrupt ending. And soon enough, I found myself having a bit of an abrupt ending myself. Thankfully, there's no limit on rebuys and resurrections in 3305. Though each time I come back, I feel more... empty. Oh, probably because I'm hungry. Well, too bad, because there's no time to eat. The attack on that station might have unlocked a clue, and I need to get back to Delphi and complete my mission. Those NPCs may have ganked my ship, but they can never gank my freedom. No, sir. I'm the most free man in the galaxy, doing an investigation for free. Yes, I'm not getting paid for this one. That's fine. I work pro bono when it comes to humanity's future. God damn it. Thargoids. Again? It's honestly getting a little annoying. Okay. What do you green boys want? Sorry. I forgot what I was going to interdict you for. My bar. Seriously? Anyway, back to my investigation. I checked out Donor's Oak, a Delphi port, probably known for a large oak tree that was donated by someone. I think. Name certainly checks out. Man, I really miss my docking computer. It's not just about how the music would play, but just the feeling like you're being swept away on a magic carpet ride. Like you can just let go and relax while life sorts itself out for once. Oh, oh shit, out of the way, out of the way! Oh, sorry dude, sorry dude, stupid T6. Ugh. What just hit me? A dolphin? I hate dolphins. Pesky little things. Shaped like a penis, and screeches like a rooster being thrown in a blender, when they boost. If I were in charge of the background simulation I'd order all dolphins recalled. Excuse me, you're blocking the mail slot. Alright that's it, I'm not taking any more shit, from you aquatic blowhards. You can kiss my boxy little rump, flipper, because this hauler moves, for no dolphins. How much is the fine for illegal cargo dumps, I wonder. Let's jettison some bio waste and find out. Ha 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 you stupid dolphin, why don't you go back to sea world? Excuse me, say the vendor exiting. This dolphin may be small, but it would run circles around your T6. Oh wait, I guess it would have to run rectangles, because you're flying a brick. Maybe you can't move because your ship is too slow? Allow me to help you. Now you've had it. Security, there's a dolphin ramming my harmless trade vessel. Stop this madness at once. Well you can't get through my shields, you tiny bastard. As much as I hate you dolphins, I suppose you're only a minor annoyance compared to those ugly, hulking, behemoth cousins of yours. Yes, the only thing worse than an annoying dolphin is a big, fat, beluga. What were you saying about the belugas? Help, this whale is violating my personal space. Help, in the name of the Emperor, unhand me, you blubbering monstrosity. No 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 no, my fresh paint job. You'll pay for this. Okay, so there's nothing in this station, other than annoying chatty NPCs. 
So I set off to check out the Oracle. I think that was the company who produced the Omphalos Rift or something. But it certainly seemed like an obvious place to pick up the trail of a mystery. Only, there was nothing really suspicious there at all. In fact, other than about 200 non-human signal sources, I wasn't finding anything remotely mysterious in the entire system. Well, except that big ammonia planet at the fringes. Ammonia planets are where you can typically find yourself Thargoid probes. I happen to find me one myself. Uh, hi there, little guy. Uh, just hold real still and Papa Spatula's gonna scoop you up into my cargo bay. You'll have a new home. Just hold still. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, no big deal, no big deal. We'll just reorient a bit. Uh, hey, I, I said hold still. You're moving all over the place. D don't do that. Come on, buddy. D d Oops. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. I'm really starting to wonder what those Thargoids were hoping I would find here. There was only one landable planet in the system, and I certainly wasn't going to go hunting for barnacles. I've already been there, done that. There certainly were a lot of signal sources in the system, though, human and otherwise. So I figured I'd drop in on a few of those and see if anything turned up. A distress call sounded like a good place to begin. I figure there's a small chance it'll be a damsel in distress looking for a handyman to help unclog her plumbing. Nope. It's a blown-up capital ship. Damn. I know a really good handyman. I could have called him. But this wreckage looks like a lost cause to me. There's been a lot of cosmic cemeteries cropping up since the Thargoids got pushy with the Pleiades. It's been a year, and we still don't really know all that much about them. We know that they like meta-alloys and barnacles. They hate guardians. But they seem to be indecisive about whether to blow us up or shine beams on us humans. And they send mystery investigators on wild goose chases in Delphi, apparently. Wait a minute. Why did they send me here? Clearly, if there's some kind of clue, I'd have found it by now, but... Maybe this wasn't about a clue. Or Raxla. Maybe it was a red herring all along. Something to keep a mystery investigator busy while plot machinations turned up in another system. Oh, wait. I was originally going to head out to Maya and try and ask Palin for some clues when I got interdicted. No. Could the Thargoids be making a move on Palin? Uh-oh. I better get my ass to Maya. Unfortunately, my suspicions were confirmed, and I arrived to a scene of chaos. Palin had been attacked by the Goids. A nearby megaship named Carson Spring was sending out calls for help as barrages of Thargoids attacked them during the evacuation. Despite all of our advances over the last year, the Thargoids still know how to throw a barbecue this megaship had been spit-roasted by those alien jerks. While back in the bubble, people are thrilled about the recent Thargoid withdrawal, it seems that things in the Pleiades are escalating quickly. Thankfully, I happened to bring along some repair limpets and set to work sealing the hull from damage to do my part with the struggle of humanity. The one good thing about disasters like these is they do tend to bring people together in a way we just don't normally do when things are going all right. Some people pull off extraordinary feats in the face of adversity. Like the time the Dub Enigma got UA bombed and a bunch of commanders buckyballed some meta-alloys to Colonia in record time. Or that time a bunch of commanders saved Christmas for the bubble. There's a lot of humanity out there, folks. Of course, there's always that one idiot in the bunch who has to go looking for trouble. And this disaster had no exceptions. Uh-oh. Some people out there in the universe just make a habit out of kicking unsuspecting puppies. Given my previous success in Dolphin Combat, I don't think going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a cutter is going to win me any bounties, so I opted for Plan C. Why Plan C, you ask? Well, because Plan B is the flamethrower, which is great for wood-fired ovens and pizza parties, not so great when you're getting griefed. Plan C was to run away, and then use the mega ship as if it were a gigantic coffee table, and I was a small dog trying to avoid a visit to the vet. If I could keep the massive bulk between my attacker and I, eventually some help might arrive, or at least my attacker might lose interest. The only advantage a dolphin really has is its speed, so I put it to use, and surprisingly found my strategy working against this behemoth tank. These days with engineers and alien upgrades, if you're not completely specked out in attack mode and ready for action, it's not much of a fair fight. That said, you can't engineer someone's mind, so there are no defenses for psychological attacks. If you can get inside your enemy's head, you can bypass even prismatic shields, and do the kind of damage you can't rebuy. Some people say just to get good, others blame the balance. I don't know what the answer is, but I do know that you, if you can't win a fight, you can at least drag it out long enough to possibly waste most of your opponent's time. And that's what I did with this chump. 
till eventually he got distracted by something shiny and went away. I thought things would calm down after that, but within moments I realized what made the griefer wet himself and run away. The Thargoids had arrived. At first, I thought they were coming back to finish off the megaship, but that wasn't the case. And I eventually witnessed what I can only describe as some kind of alien experiment in action. That must be why the Thargoids wanted me to go to Delphi, so they wouldn't let me see what they were up to here. What I'm about to show you may disturb and perturb even the most hardened of minds. I suggest you do not let children see the following events. At first, it looked as if the Thargoids were just scanning the NPCs in the usual hunt for tasty cargo, which I've had them do to me a million times before with no harm. Granted, getting scanned tickles a bit, and shining your high beams in someone's cockpit is pretty poor spacefaring etiquette, but something was very wrong about this. After the NPCs were scanned, they began to behave differently. Almost as if they were flying in formation with the Thargoid. And we know the Thargoids can completely disable our ships, making us vulnerable to attack. And their weapons pack a hell of a punch. But what if all the data they've been collecting in their scans has allowed them to build new technologies? Ones that could potentially allow the Thargoids to take control of human ships and use us like sock puppets to do their bidding. No, that's just some amped up paranoia, right? It's just a big coincidence the NPCs aren't running away from the big scary flower, right? Spatula's putting out one of his crazy theories again, right? Is it, right? Well, it was about then that the megaship suddenly declared that there were no Thargoids detected. And there you have it, folks. The Thargoids have very clearly developed some kind of mind control, and they're herding NPCs like cattle out here in the Pleiades. With Palin taken out in the area infested with green-eyed bugs, it'll only be a matter of time before they develop this technology further. Now, we may have AX weapons. We may have Guardian grinds. But what defense do we have against mind control? Tinfoil? And does it only apply to NPCs? Or are we hollow-dotted humans at risk as well? We still don't know what the Thargoids want, but we also still don't know what they're fully capable of. Oh, crap. Back the camera up. Back the camera up. Oh. Sorry, sorry about that, Mr. Thargoid. Didn't mean to interrupt your experiment here. Uh, run away, run away! It was clear to me that we shouldn't be poking around dead guardian graveyards for answers, but focusing on living aliens on our doorstep. Because if we don't understand what the Thargoids want, the next time they come marching up to Seoul may be the last. Palin was the figurehead of Thargoid research, being the only engineer based in the Pleiades. Though he had already fled back to the bubble, I decided to check out Palin's research laboratory on a nearby planet to see if I could loot any cool shit from the place. Now, despite being abandoned, I was still able to request docking permissions. At this point, the facility must be running on automation. Thargoid scouts haunted the area, shooting at anything that moved like alien mosquitoes. At least while I was docked, the shield connection to the base power still worked. So I was able to sit in comfort while the scouts pelted away at me to no effect. How did we let things get so bad? I used to come to Maya for black hole surfing less than two years ago. You didn't even have to think about packing weapons. Now it's full of griefers and green boys everywhere you look. It's kind of like reverse gentrification. Palin's lab used to be a beacon for science and xeno research. Now it's an abandoned dump. It really feels like humanity went into some kind of maintenance mode. We really should be making progress. Eh, but what do I know? I came here to find Raxla, and I'm nowhere close to that goal than when I started. And what good will finding Raxla do if the bubble is destroyed by Thargoids, and I have no one to sell the secrets to? No, it seems to me like there's a bigger mystery to go after. What do the Thargoids really want? The only way to figure that out is to understand how they tick. So I'm going to have to start by killing one, turning it inside out, and checking out its heart. Hmm... I've never really killed a Thargoid before, so this might take some time to train up. Well, I really should get out there and prepare myself for an alien hunt. I've never had any success with Thargoids before, so if there are any commanders out there who want to wing up and hunt with me, let me know. For now, I hope this log has opened your eyes to the Dengus of those alien menaces. If you're in the Pleiades, fly Dengus commanders. This is Spatula, out. <laughs>